did you learn that? Hunting orcs. The Arbiter cannot bind me forever, Elf. You and I will have our day. Let's keep moving. Four of them. Come on. Which of you filth dies first today? Athel, we really don't have time for this. Very well. Take them. By the light, I'm glad you're on our side. Huh. Yes, just one big happy family, mortal. Move along, the sooner we win, the sooner I'm free of you. Spread out. The artifact should be here somewhere. Dragon has a weak spot. If I can hit it just right. <laughs> I think I like this dragon. Well, that could have gone better. Any ideas? We attack together on three. Portalaria for the Arbiter. So be it. Awaken, warrior. This is your bastion. From here you will summon and train champions to fight the Dark One and his shadow. You have chosen your first champion, but one champion is not an army. Use a mystery shard to summon another champion at the portal. Mystery shards allow you to summon common, uncommon, and rare champions. Excellent. You've summoned an attack type champion with great attack and support skills. Let's head to the campaign map and prepare your champions for their first taste of combat. Behold, Karak Castle, seat of King Tabor. This is where your journey begins. I fear that the king and his banner lords have fallen to the shadow. Once noble and just, he has brought war upon his allies and ruin on his people. You and your champions must fight through his banner lords, find him, and see if he has turned to Siroth. Eleven generations of peace had reigned between the kingdom of Karak and the realm of Arabia. A peace now shattered by King Taba's brutal campaign of expansion into the neutral lands between the two kingdoms. Once revered as a pillar of justice, King Taba had imposed crushing taxes to finance his war with his former ally, bringing desolation and ruin upon his own people. Had the king lost all reason? On the orders of the Arbiter, the company set out to persuade him to renounce his folly and wayward policies. Even if it meant storming the very gates of Kirok Castle. Karok will not fall easily. Like all places in Teleria, there are multiple stages of defenders. You must defeat all stages to move forward with your journey. This is where you select your team and review the enemy champions before each battle. Magic beats spirit, spirit beats force, force beats magic, and void is special. Void champions have no direct weaknesses against other affinities. 
You have only two champions. Let us pick your team. Well done. Notice that your leader has an... The arrows above each enemy's head show how your champion's affinity matches up against theirs. An affinity advantage means a more effective attack, more damage, and a higher chance to crit. Artifacts, and here's your first. Artifacts are powerful items that boost your champion's stats. Along with special items, your champions will earn XP after every battle. Earn enough and they'll level up, growing in strength and power. Go to your champion collection and equip that artifact. This is where you can view all champions under your control. Each champion can equip up to six artifacts. See that? Your artifact has already strengthened this champion. Better yet, artifacts can be equipped in sets to provide special bonuses and effects. I believe you are ready. Return to Karok Castle, seat of King Tabor of Karok. Fight through his banner lords and find him. I must know if he has succumbed to the shadow. up. Every time you level up, you'll get full energy, gems, and sometimes you'll even unlock new features. And here are your rewards from battle. With this artifact, you'll have enough to equip a full set. Let's go. Artifacts can be equipped individually. Special icons will show which are this set boosts your champ. Excellent work. When you upgrade artifacts to certain levels, they gain new substats, giving your champions an even bigger boost. You have learned well. Keep strengthening your warriors. I shall return in time to teach you more. <laughs> <laughs>